Good afternoon, Vermonters, Patriots Worldwide. Kevin Hoy live with the guest from Vermont State. It's been a while since we did a one-on-one, -on -one, and I want to give you guys some updates. we got lots of stuff happening behind the scenes. Just signed up with four other shows, weekly shows. We're going to be on weekly with some other truthers. Of course, I'm always doing these guest appearances on your other alternative news source uh, stations, channels, all these great people, patriots. They're trying to inform you, get you ready to brace for impact. What's coming? How do we prepare? And then, of course, building this better world as we go forward. So we got, what, four or five court cases going. They have a warrant for my arrest. That got interesting. So we got legal stuff going on behind the scenes. We got lots of research and uh, more exposure. Again, the policy and all the other things to move us forward. But today, I want to talk about elections. I want to talk about voting because they're trying to take away my right to vote. This is a letter from the Bennington town clerk. You'll see Cassandra Barball. That's my town clerk. It's not her signature. It's an electronic signature. That's interesting. Uh, Cassie has been our, our town clerk for a long time. I actually went to high school with Cassandra. But this is a woman who we just allegedly re-elected and uh, just allegedly voted herself a big old raise last spring. Um, she got a real estate license over the summer. There was a great big article in the Bennington Banner celebrating that with Cassie. And now her her Facebook page, she's moving to the Carolinas. That's kind of odd. We got lots of people, Rick Gothier, Larry Cole, right, moving to Texas. Anybody seen Chad? <laughs> Chad Schmidt moving to Tennessee, moving to the Carolinas. All these guys resigning, retiring, no future endeavors, no plans for higher office, like our Secretary of State, like our Attorney General, right? 48 incumbents this year are gone, right? This, again, anybody putting this together? I'm going to put my glasses on. Now you guys know you're in trouble, right? To read this letter, because we're talking about voting and voting law, election law, Vermont election law, U.S. election law. And what's required, the requirements. I've used this law against these guys a hundred times, and now they're trying to use this law against me to remove my right to vote. They want to remove my firearms. Now they want to remove my right to vote and probably run for office. In fact, we'll take this time to officially announce my 2023 candidacy for Vermont State Governor. I already self identify as the governor of Vermont. When we get those special elections in 23, you guys are going to see my name on the ballot. But from the Board of Civil Authority in Bennington, dear Mr. Hoyt, uh, the Board of Civil Authority has not been able to determine whether you are still a resident and otherwise eligible to vote in Bennington. Hmm, that's weird. I wonder where they came up with that. Maybe it was the letters that I wrote them over and over saying I had to leave my community, my home and my community in April. After they cut my brake lines, right? They literally cut my brake lines. I'm in fear for my life and those around me, the, the intimidation, the harassment. It was over the top, so I had to leave in April. And then again, a week before elections, to tarnish my name, they uh, issued an arrest warrant because apparently exposing crimes by our officials is now a crime also. Hogwash, right? I'm not going to stop. So let's get into the definitions. This is... Again, per statute, you can find this on the Vermont Secretary of State website. It's an election law, both state and federal election law. But for the purposes of voting, the Vermont statute provides the following definition as a resident. A resident is a person who is domiciled in the town as evidenced by an intent to maintain a principal dwelling in that town indefinitely or return there if temporarily absent. Did you guys get that? If you're a resident... You have to live in the town with the intent to stay there indefinitely. Now, the burden of proof is on the voter. So whether it's you, me, a college kid, anybody, if you want to vote, you go down and you have to prove that you're a resident. How do you do that? You show them a driver's license, show them an electric bill. This is a step that our clerks are missing. They're skipping on purpose. In fact, they added a fourth rule. You got to take the voter's oath. So I'm going to give you some examples. In this case, uh, uh, Isabella Adler. Isabella Adler is a person from California. She came to Bennington College. She lived on campus dorms for two years where she voted illegally. And then she moved back to LA. Per this law, 
There was no intent to stay here, right? In fact, she was never a resident. She couldn't get a driver's license and prove her residency because she was staying on housing, uh, campus housing. So again, that's clear and caught election fraud per this law, right? So what happens again, Ann Bergstrom is another one. Ann Bergstrom went to Bennington College and then she went to grad school. She came back to Bennington College or came back to Bennington after grad school, lived on her boyfriend's parents' couch for about two months. This is all per Ann Bergstrom. That's her residence. And then she moved permanently to Canada in 1975. All right, so Ann Bergstrom had no intent to stay in Vermont State. She moved to Canada in 1975, but she's been voting in every local and federal election out of Bennington since, right? 1975, guys. I was five years old, right? Olin Harrington down in Florida this year, 2022, he got a ballot. He hasn't lived in Vermont for 10 years. Anybody can vote here. We want to make sure every vote counts except mine. <laughs> they don't want my vote to count, right? It's amazing. So what they do, again, another law that they've added is the voter oath, right? Now in Vermont State, we have a fourth law. You have to take the voter's oath. And when I brought all of this stuff to the attention of the Vermont Secretary of State, I want all you college kids to know it took them about two seconds to throw you under the bus. I talked about Isabella. I talked about Ann Bergstrom. I talked about the college vote in, in general. College kids should be voting. You have that right, absolutely. But you should be voting out of state per absentee. That's per the law. You're not a resident of Vermont State, right? Which is pretty easy. Again, they live on campus housing. And campus housing is not a residency per the school or per the state. Otherwise, you'd have no out-of-state tuition, right? 90% of the kids that stay at Bennington College are staying on campus housing. Right? If they were considered residents, they wouldn't they'd all be resident tuition. You wouldn't have to it wouldn't have any out of state tuition, right? They'd all be residents. That's not the way it is. So because our clerks are skipping that step, these kids are voting here. And when I brought that to the attention of the state, they used that fourth rule. Well, these kids all took the voter oath. So if they are lying, they're we're gonna hold them accountable under the pains and penalties of perjury. You're committing election fraud in your college, you know, professors, Professor Brian Campion, Senator Brian Campion, who's getting all you guys to vote. He's setting you up for a fall. The state's already throwing you under the bus. So just be careful out there. And just like Ann Bergstrom, I plan on voting ex parte, right, at my last known address because it's not safe. To give these guys my address anymore but it's an update and i wanted to let you guys know now they're not only trying to take my guns three decades as a firearms expert an advocate for the shooting sports on a, a world spokesman for the national shooting sports right conservation educator i dedicated my life to that they're trying to remove my firearms and now they're trying to remove my right to vote feels like donald trump all of a sudden I love you guys. Figured I'd give you some updates. I hope you're having a great day and happy new year. Here's our first live for 2023. I hope you guys enjoy it. The psychic Huna deer hunter predicts it's going to be a doozy. Buckle up, everybody. I love you. Stay safe and stay standing.